a ball thrown vertically upwards from the ground level hits the ground after 4 seconds. Calculate the maximum height it reached during its journey. We are going to solve this question solution. Now this ball is thrown vertically upwards from the ground meaning that the initial velocity of the ball must be known because it is not given in the question. The total time spent by the ball in the air is 4 seconds. And then we also know that um, this is a case of motion under gravity. With the neglecting the effect of air resistance, we can say that the ball's acceleration is equal to the value of the acceleration due to gravity, that is A, is equal to G. That is equal to 10 meter per second squared. Now we have to calculate the height it reached in the course of its journey. How do we calculate the height reached by this ball? I'm going to illustrate it like this. Let's see, this is the ground level. Here we have the ball projected from this level with the initial velocity u. Of course, you understand the motion of this ball. It's going to rise in this direction. It's going to get to its highest point, that is going to reach a maximum height, and then before it falls back to the ground. So this is the direction of the body of the ball, the course of rising from this point to its maximum height. It moves in the upward direction and then it's going to return to the ground in the same direction. I mean in the opposite direction this way. Okay, so from what we see here, we can see that the total distance risen S will be called the total distance falling. S, that is when the ball is back to the point of projection and since these two directions are different we can decide that the distance reason let it be given negative sign that is or positive sign let's take positive as direction upward is positive then the displacement downwards let's give it negative so that the total displacement of the ball when it is back to the ground is equal to the upward displacement plus s minus the downward displacement minus s that gives us a zero and that happens in four seconds this displacement is zero when the time t is equal to four seconds so to find the initial speed first of all we can decide to use the second equation of motion s equals ut minus half gt squared now when the displacement is zero this is u times 4, the time is 4 seconds, minus half times 10 times 4 squared. 0 equals 4u minus 2 year 1, 2 year 5, 5 times 4, which is 16. That gives us 0 equals 4u minus 80. Therefore, if I bring 4 to this side, it gives me minus 4u equals minus 80 negative cancel negative minus initial velocity dividing both side by 4 is 20 meter per second okay so that is the initial speed of this ball next we are going to calculate the maximum height it reached in the course of its journey to calculate the maximum height we are still going to use this equation s equals ut minus half g t squared and then this time around we are taking the velocity as positive therefore g will be taken as negative since it's an upward direction and i'm going to take one direction because from this point to this point the distance is called the maximum height h the distance reason from the point of projection to the end of projection that's taking one direction that distance is h so i can replace this with h equals ut minus half gt squared this is my edges i'm looking for i've got my u as 20 
20 times. Now, the time taking to rise from here to this point is 2 seconds because it will take 2 seconds to rise and 2 seconds to fall back down to the plane of projection. So I put 2 here minus half times 10 times 2 squared. This gives me 40 minus 5 times 4. That gives me 40 minus 20. So the maximum height risen by this ball in the absence of air resistance is 20 meters. So that is how to solve uh, this question. Thank you for watching.